to meet you. We'll talk about them as best we can. <laughs> and uh, here's the crew. Yeah. Give the drone guys Mike some love. Give the drone guys some love. Francesca Girondo. He has a name. Jack Gorris. I know, but I just want to get it wrong. You guys, <laughs> Dustin DeRoe, he's going to be rabbiting with us this weekend as well. Carlo's going to be doing uh, social media. Yeah. Oh. And then Will Hicks, wherever he went, he's going to be he's, doing. He's oh, he's right there. there. He's hey, a, great shot. Great shot. He's, he's oh. squatting. Oh. Ready. We are ready. I think they're about to. It's about that time. Let's get up there. I believe in you guys. I'm take a swig of water before we go. So you'll be using this app too. Okay. One thing that's cool about it is that you got a little.
never start this on time, do they? See that drone flying over there? We got a guy named Rods helping us out with that. Okay. Hey guys. All right. Hello for real this time. Thank you, thank you. You guys can bring it in closer up here to the start. We'll give you guys a little briefing for this hot lap. Yeah. Um, awesome. Thank you guys for being here. I'm happy that the hot lap is hot. It's been 25 and warm here the past couple of days. So uh, I think like the week for it. Um, so a couple things for this hot lap today. So when you guys are out there, please be careful. It's still a dangerous course, even though it's just a, a fun two day before 24 hours. Please stay on the course path at all times. So you'll see when you're out there, it's still an active construction site in a few areas. So there's equipment out there. They'll stay off the course path, but please stay off of their construction path. Um, super important. Also, unfortunately, um, we had some really bad weather earlier in the week and we had some trailers arrive late. So not everything is going to be open on the lap. Some of it might not even be visible. But I'll take you through the course map now for what will be open and what you can just look at. Um, so well fun will not be open. Sorry. Uh, you'll get plenty of it tomorrow. Twinkle Toes will also not be open, but you can walk by and you know that it's a down speed. Don't fall off. Devil Sack. If you want to do more of that than you have to, that will be open. Slime uh, Dirt, so our different barbed wire crawl will not be open yet, but you all know what that's like. Um, five. Ladder to Hell is open. The Grappler is open. So get some good test swings in there. This is just a small recommendation for you. Go home tonight and Google how to throw a rope. It'll help you a lot tomorrow. It's all about that game. I'm 100% not joking. 
Uh, number six, that's the draft board seven, operation. Operation will be open, so you'll have to So it's a good chance. Still in the back. Not, not too hard dirt. Is Carlo oh, no, coming with us? Other angles. Oh, I did he change his mind? Hard to oh. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. I, I thought you just wanted to shout out like everyone going by. And, uh, he, he was told it was mandatory. And everyone passes. <laughs> and then she goes, Where are they? I was like, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's run. Yeah. It's a little bit. Sure. Come on. Come on. Well, now we're stuck behind all the walkers anyway. Oh, no. See everybody's kind of go out and then come back. Not on my body, but on my head. You're gonna get hurt. 
I, I, I'll be, I should be good. I think, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. So if you did hear any of the announcements there, he was just going through. Not all the obstacles are open yet. I really should have brought a win, a windscreen for this thing. I forgot to look for one. So not all the obstacles are open, but we'll be looking at what's there and trying out the ones that are open. Also, I ran the course yesterday, and my watch got 400 feet of elevation, not 200 as I had heard from some other people. So, don't know. And 400 still half of what it was in like Vegas and uh, 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 Atlanta. Okay, so yeah, so we're walking by uh, Well Swunk, which is, uh, so we're doing the penalty now, right? Yeah, that one was pretty epic. King of Swingers, which they had lastly in 20... Lastly, uh, King of what? Oh, a Mister. Okay. Um, last King of Swingers was in 2018. The last King of Swingers. Can't pull me back. Yeah, the last time they did King of Swingers was in 2018. Sounds right. I couldn't speak to my All right. I believe that was the case because it was very they just had the bells out so far and uh, like I couldn't get it I didn't get it one time right it's just jumping off of the ground basically yeah you see one I'd say that this penalty loop is not short, and for well swung, one that if you succeed, you get through it pretty quickly. So I'd say this is a pretty good, pretty good penalty. See my group will run with me at all. I'm, I'm running literally walking pace. be some spots that the cell signal drops off but shouldn't be many so yeah that's the full penalty that's a pretty good length penalty especially I think for well swung which you know is pretty quick if you do it you still gotta get in the water but Definitely a uh, much longer penalty than. Now I don't know what's going on here. So we've got Twinkle Toes that we're coming up to. 
That was one of the reasons. And then we've got and <laughs> this thing of rows and rows of. Oh, that's probably just blocked off. That's probably. I don't know. That, like it's orange tape. It looks like it's something. But what penalty could they have for Twinkle Toes? You know? It's an out and back. Out and back. A long ways. But how could it be the penalty for Twinkle Toes? That's what I don't. I don't get. If you fall, don't fall. Yeah, but. It's rare that, I don't know, it just seems like it's out of balance for what that obstacle is. So we're, yeah, so we're just not sure what's happening over there yet. It is split. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very confused about it. Yeah, there's a reason. Yeah, all this cactus is crushed, but you still want to watch out for it because some of it still has the, the pricklies. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's all. Even on the course, you want to watch where you step because where the cameras look tired to the side. Oh yeah, yeah, lots of legit cactus. If you yeah stumble off course, get on that stumble. Step on it on course because you never know if it's still got a prickly to go into your shoe through the side of your shoe. That'd be no good. As they say, life's like a cactus. You step on it, you never know what you're going to do. <laughs> this isn't considered an obstacle, at least not on the map, but it is a you know, get up and over. Yep. Like, what, what could the. Uh... Jason, do a flip. Nice. Flip over, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, we got space. First spot of mud. I'm gonna get wet later anyways. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Watch everybody trying to be careful. But obviously you wanna find the best way through during the race, but it's gonna get muddy. And this little hill right here is going to be slippery from all the water. Did we get everybody? No. No, okay. <laughs> Hang on. Are they waiting in line to, to cross? <laughs> Just jump through! You can tell everybody you can always find dust, no matter what. And I'm also remembering why everything. Good job, Dustin. You're doing it! <laughs> you that way? No, I, don't, I think we're still waiting. She's, uh, she's still at the water. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Just step, step in it! Just don't drink it. There she is. We're up here! <laughs> you know, that... that Parts like that always interest me when they don't have tape through the whole thing because... Where are people going to go? Right. How many people are going to stay actually like within the border of the arrow to arrow? I think the runner will stay in the border once the race starts. Like once you're already muddy, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Compared to you go around. Like, this yeah, right now, obviously, yeah, everybody's trying to... Yeah. That's 
Come on, Mike. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'll be Just walk and run a slow path for him. Kind of grassy, but just bush hogged stuff. So you got lots of sticks. It's not called. Why it's called Devil's Sack? Because there's nothing there but the net. But doesn't mean there won't be something more than the net. Oh, I see. So there are sandbags to carry through. You gotta take your Devil's Sack with you through Devil's Beard. Sandbag with Devil's beard. Mike, you coming through? Do I want this one? Oh, I'm taking this one. I'll do whatever. What's the rule? I can't touch the ground, right? I'm not. Bring it back. That's a good superhero pose, Mike. And then continue on the path. That's uh, cool. New, innovative. Yeah. And then we get to kind of the first hill, so you know it's pretty gentle, but uh, it is probably 30 feet up. First real incline of the race. It's not huge, but I guarantee you're going to see a lot of people walking it. Top. Oh, 
head. Cactus poke my foot. You can see the pit from here. See everybody coming through. You can even see, so you can see Coach's Corner on the big hill, way over there. And you can even see, uh, is that Mutterhorn? Mutter, yeah, Mutterhorn mutter getting built right now. From up here. It's pretty cool. A good little spot to kind of turn around and just like take a breather and take it in. It's okay. I can, I can explain it to you guys too. I had a cactus poke me. Got a little poke in, a little poke in the foot. I don't know what this is going to be yet. Do we know what the next obstacle is? interesting because they're making a platform but there's you know obviously a, a ditch on both sides of it so I don't know there's your uh, world's toughest mutter humor for the day Here on top of the hill, it's still not very rocky, it's just kind of dirt and grass. running spot though it's not very undulating it's pretty flat not a lot of divots We've got ladder to hell coming up. Looks pretty staple, you know, typical barbed wire on top. Just to give you a little something more to focus on. 
my crew did not run with me. They're so far back there. I'll get on the top of the ladder of the hell and wait for them there. off in the distance over this way is where we're gonna go and hit um, shoot grappler we're gonna hit grappler before that and then go down that big hill over there Yeah, stretching between those those beams, they are nice and far apart. So definitely. If they do it once, like right now, no big deal. But after you have 30 miles under your leg, yeah, yeah. And you like you reach up and you like. Yeah. That's the hard part. in OCR but none of them are that far apart like that so it does make a bit of a difference. Yep. Yeah really the only other place that would have made sense for it is where Coach's Corner is but I think the fact that his is up there is awesome. Another fence crossing. I think this is like, I think there's like four of them.
back down, but we'll go look at the top of Grappler first. Six, you gotta go down the hill. So it looks like you can come up to this this spot here and throw from there. It's not really a hill that you need to run for, but this guy's saying try to go overhand instead of underhand. You get three tries. Make the three tries, and you got to take the penalty loop that way. Yeah, you can really run up it without the rope. But you still got to get it in there to be able to continue on without doing a penalty. Almost got smacked with that one. See, I don't know if, like, doing a, a lasso motion, you know, kind of spinning it around and then slinging it is good. Obviously, they kind of got people in the way, and they're just kind of chunking it. But if you can get it to go far, then, I mean, that guy slung it. It went very far. Probably makes a big difference on how you roll up your rope so it doesn't all get hung up. I guess you're supposed to throw it back down. Oh, I bet it has. Nice. That was a great throw. First try. So this guy in front here, he's about to try without looping it. No, no, he's looping it. See, he did an underhand throw, and not only did it go off, but it also kind of just went up instead of outwards. Say yeah, try the overhand. <laughs> hey Hannah. Good, how's it going? Well they're saying overhand is the way to go. Don't yeah. And you know, you could like whip it like this, but I think like like that, as long as Woo, that was close. That almost got me right in the head. I almost got beamed. I think I'm 
think I'm feeling my feet here. Yes. Um, but yeah. So uh, overhand, kind of the whole thing, but how you loop it, how you you roll it up, kind of makes a difference. Okay. Interesting shot coming straight at us here. Oh, see, Harris got tangled up. So you want to be in charge of re-roping? Yeah. Got it, got it, Chum. <laughs> as steep there as it is past where the rope is. No, I'm good. Thank you. I just had one little spot like a rock gave out. But yeah, it's not exactly something you need a rope for. That's just the game. Good throw, but he kind of let it slip through his hands, and then it just kind of caught friction. Got him, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. There we go. That's the move. Right. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Missed how he threw it. I think it's hilarious that we're climbing up the hill. I'm gonna I'm stop talking about it because I said it too many times. Oh, he threw the baseball like a baseball throw and just let the rope be loose. What if you threw half of the rope ahead first and then threw the baseball? 
so he's just letting it. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I like that technique. Here, Mike, hold this. Got it. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. No, I went left. It's also windy. You can tell by the wind in Jason's hair. Good job. And a boy, Jason! Woo! It doesn't matter. And a boy. I like that. That's awesome. Will, you, are you done or are you doing another one? Okay. Fran, can you take the gimbal, please? Double duty. I was a garden hose wrangler. Okay, because you got great technique for spooling up an XLR cable. Those XLRs are classic. I right, one under armor again. Here we go. Everybody can go first. I know you go first. This is actually the one of the steepest downhills right here. They've actually got ropes going down the hill. Again, not absolutely necessary, but let's see if our team uses it. It's just a downhill, just rope, rope for safety. be 
interested to see how much this get, gets used. Is it going to be a lot, a little, none at all? I guess it's full of ice. They're using it. But if you're just trying to bomb down hill, it's a good spot to do it. Yeah. Oh, geez, I want more rope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got the short rope? You pulled the short one. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, it's one cool thing about courses like this is when you can see, like even Atlanta had that big open field at that one point. That was really neat. Yeah. You know, my favorite thing a couple years ago when Toughest Butter started at midnight. Yeah. Instead of AK or whatever. Yeah. So one of my one of my actual like disappointments with hitting 75 miles is I got really emotional once I realized that I could I, I was like I can do this I can. And, then what, and I was on course for like two laps like feeling all those emotions and then it got hot and I just got like I'm ready to be done you know like that so when I crossed the finish line it wasn't as exuberant as I as I expected but I experienced that all like couple laps before that. Yeah, I stopped because I was nauseous for two laps. And videos with music and... Yeah. And then the last two or three laps or miles or whatever, when you're like, oh my gosh, no, it's happening. Like, I'm going to do it. That's when it hits me. Like, yeah. Sometimes yeah, that's like what it was. Sometimes it's like a mile from the finish line. Sometimes it's like a mile. I barely remember crossing the finish line at any event I've ever done. But the moment you realize, oh shit, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I had that last, probably like two kilometers of marathon, which I hate. <laughs> Guys, this is a very muddy part. Stay muddy and get here. Yeah, I actually. So hot. I had uh, one lap where I came in and April was like, "I'm sorry, but you're, you're behind. You're not gonna you're, like your pace is falling. Uh -huh. You're not able to keep this up, and uh, you're, you're not gonna be able to hit 75." And that lap is when I started feeling good again, and I was like, "That's okay. I'm having a blast." <laughs> Don't worry about it. And I went out and picked up my pace and like knocked 15 minutes off my lap time. And I, I came back out. in and she was, well, I was, like I said, I was starting to feel better at that point. Like I had a bowel movement and just ah. felt great. Legs kind of came back to life. And, uh, I was, and, I was falling back there, wouldn't you? Well, I had, I was back. Like, partly, <laughs> partly because of the bowel movement. Honestly, I was taking a long time because I was peeing a lot, and uh, and I so I stopped drinking as much, and I, I really just like everything just came back. Like I felt like I was fresh. Oh, and I just had you. two amazing laps where I uh, I did an hour thirty, and then I did an hour twenty-seven, and I think I did another hour twenty at thirty after that, and it was just like that's where I was like, she just said I, I don't have time to do it, but I'm doing you know. Shouldn't do, but I like to do because it's something to do. 
So I do course math yeah, just for fun. Because, like, the second, like, the start line goes off, my brain cannot do math. <laughs> but I, and I, I know that, like, I might be wrong doing this, but it's something to pass the time. Because sure. it's so hard to figure it out at that time of the night and everything. So it just makes the time go by. The other reason I don't like doing it generally is because usually when you're doing course math or race math, you're trying to figure out how slow you can go. Race math is the best way to keep busy during the race. Oh, I hate it. I think it's the worst thing you can do. If you do, yeah, if you do that, that is, good, is because, not a good thing. Because it's like, okay, as long as I finish this lap in like 75 minutes, then I have enough time to walk in my last lap. Right. It's, it's always trying to give yourself like... A back. cushion, like, yeah. Are we the last ones? No, there's. Are they sending everybody backwards? No. Are we okay? So this is a pretty good little hill right here too. Yeah, these are not. They're not some of the big hills that we've seen. Vegas or even out uh, Atlanta, but these are definitely going to be walking hills for most people. Aha! Operation! Alright, so we've got water to stand in, put the thing through the hole, and reach into the back, and there's going to be some rings to grab, and you pull them back out. So, my suggestion, you have one hand, it's kind of like shooting pool, Yeah. you want to have like a stabilizer, and then this one is just push, and you just tie the tag, or you just focus on that, do the hook. Okay, Dustin, could you come hold this? Of course. And the crazy thing is, if someone next to you gets shot, you're going to feel that shot. Uh, Mike, I'll, I'll, I'll take it up a step for you. Right. You're holding your arm out here. Oh, yeah. Put your arm against your side. Oh, that okay. way, your arm can't drop because of your muscles. So you, no, go farther. You just got to the the left. Body up here. Oh. Ah. Well, well, for tall people. Okay. And I found out the first year, the hook at the end of it. I got it back and I tried to hook the ring and the hook went. And then I literally focus on oh, making sure my hand stays steady. And then I was toast. As right. it goes in. Nothing you can do from there. And then once you get to the back. Fuck! Woo! <laughs> You can feel it, that's what it would feel like. You can hit the back, and then you start looking in. I know I haven't lit up, I think, so you can actually see in there. And it's, it's a pretty big hole. Oh, it's what is that? It's a little like a uh, bracelet, like a silicone bracelet. It's bad of a shock, but you feel it. Yeah, you definitely feel it. Yeah, it'll be lit up, I think. It's gotta be lit up at some little bit. If not, you're gonna have to have people like shining pit lamps. Yeah, if it's pitch black, that would be interesting. Okay. This is a classic one. Yeah, this is a good one. I do like this one a lot. I actually think I could put uh, a, a stationary camera right here. Oh, and just be looking down, watching yeah. everybody get shot. Love it. Love it. That's perfect. Awesome. Have fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. We're in charge of doing the live stream. It's gonna be a 25 and a half hour live stream. So nice. Yeah.
see the comments right now, but I hope y'all are seeing the obstacles and the feeds coming through clean. Apologies that we're going so slow. Lumberjack is not much to it, just two. And it's like some trees that they just went and cut down. I would say the right side on the far closer to us side is lower. They are very skinny. It feels like they went and cut these down yesterday. Don't do it, it's closed. What? They said it's closed. I don't know why. First timer? Yep, first timer. Yep. What's your name? Bo. Bo. Oh, the Batman thing. Yeah, who's running that? I think it's uh, Miko. Miko? Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, what's your What's your experience? You've you're not run it before, but what's your experience with it? Seeing it, hearing about it? So I've run a lot of Spartans. Um, this is my first mud of any flavor. Okay. So I've watched a lot of interviews. Um, watched a lot of YouTube. Kind of watch people going over obstacles, how to do them. Um, yeah. Just kind of stuff like that, making sure you get the right gear and hydration and uh, thermal regulation. So just watch it as much as possible. Since I've never done, you know, again, I'm not with obstacles at all. Yeah. So it's just even a regular tough mudder. Yeah. Not even. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah, this is my first one. So, but I'm excited. What's your ultra? Experience, ultra distance. Experience. Um, I've run a few. I've run a, uh, three or four ultras. I did an overnight run, just got a train ride up uh, six weeks ago. Did an overnighter for about nine hours. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's good. Yes, yeah, so we'll see. What kind of distance did you get during that? Forty. Nice. Good. Awesome. Yeah, those. You know the. You know about the toughest, the overnight, uh, twelve hours. No. They only have a couple of them a year. Um, but it's a lot like world stuff is because you're doing a five mile loop. Um, actually, they did it a little different this year. I forget exactly. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so that's a, a good, you know, in that 12 hours with obstacles, usually 40, 50 uh, is kind of what people tend to get. I think 40 is, you, if you run one of those and you get 40, you get it as a contender. Uh, so you get the orange bit. That's what I need to do for this coming for next year. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Or you can do <laughs> infinity, and like, which is I've at a regular so weekend, regular, like during the day. If I, if but I it's like ground, while that course is open, you can do multiple laps. So it's just multi lap. You get a, okay. a bib so that everybody sees that you're doing infinity. And you can qualify at that too. And they have a lot more of those than they do the toughest. Okay. That's what, yeah. Like, what was your name again? Bo Lawrence. Bo Lawrence. And your bib number 3493. Yes, sir. All right, well, I'm going to jog it on out. Let's yeah, try to on, make sure we look, uh, look Bo Lawrence up. See how he's doing. We see how, how he's doing through the night. This is swinging, swinging tips. Uh, I don't think it's under over water. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there is one shorter for the shorter people, which is nice. Yeah, it's not a water. Which is not normally. But it is loose. They said they're gonna have pegs in the peg holes that spin. Yeah. And this this part's very easy to, to grab grab over. But as you can see, putting my weight on it, it does it moves. But if it stays like this, this is the side to get on because you get you got more leverage because it's leaning that way. 
what else? Do they have a... Yeah, they said it's gonna be no. They said it's gonna be all pegs that spin. Oh. Yeah. So. Probably won't be too bad. And I mean, there, oh yeah, oh yeah, that is a, a ways there. So you start here and then goes all the way over there. You can see it way back over there. Comes back around. Three miles! Because you're going so slow. <laughs> Swing! Oh, swung! Many, many swingers. Get them to run last year because they're not doing it this year. A little bit of that ever so slight decline here. It's 240. It's 2.45. Oh, the screen just got dark. I think we're still good. That's being weird, though. I'm going to stop and reset.
Apologies as I let the battery die like a rookie. And now, hopefully, I'm going to try and, hopefully the battery will stay because I got it plugged into the thing here, to the gimbal. So sorry about that. Hey. And this is a long stretch of no obstacles. Yeah, and this is, we just hit halfway. I still haven't seen where the water station is. So I'm at 2.7. It's bathrooms. More than likely this will be where they have the water because there's a big trash can, big dumpster. It's a little over halfway into the course. And here's Dublin Walls. My angles are getting real weird here. Is it being so rough? As I spin around, it's so weird. Good spot to look back. Dublin Walls looks pretty standard. I don't think my video is coming through.
Okay. Now we're back live. Now we're back live. Had a battery issue, and then it just seemed like it was stuck. I don't know. But anyway, I'm here. There's Dublin Walls. Looks pretty standard. Yeah, I think we're good. Looks pretty standard. Not much to say about it. Get some help. Jump up, grab the lip. Oh, that one looks Put yourself nice up there. New. Yeah, nice and fresh. All right, let's go catch the crew. So sorry about losing you there. Let me just turn the audio off. There we go. So yeah, there's this long gravel road for a while. You may have missed the uh, water stop, which was 2.7 miles in. You know, I say it was 2.7 miles, but I forgot about that penalty loop that we did at the beginning of the race. So, maybe not. Maybe it really is two, two and a half. That's funny, I don't know what this is, but the box over there says EST. <laughs> so it could be, but I don't recall that being on the, like what would be on the map that could be, you know, the framing. It makes sense for it to be EST. And there's a penalty loop over there. There's a pile of dirt, so you might be using that pile of dirt for something. Carry a pile of dirt with you, I don't know. So what do you think that was electroshock therapy? That said EST on that one, yeah. What does it say on the map? I don't know. So I'm curious because I know... The, the whatever the box said yeah. said EST. Because I know the map didn't say EST. So it makes it very... I thought it was this operation. Yeah, I don't know. But that was definitely the box for it. That was and there was the box a frame there. So yeah. So what do we think's happening back there where the box says EST? It's not EST. It's not EST, but I'm not well, sure. Well, it's still EDT. Do you remember what the map says? No. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could that be uh, the, the tipping point? What's after? No, it's not, it's not that. That's going up. That's over here. What is, uh, what's after Dublin Walls? Dingleberries. Dingleberries with electricity, maybe? <laughs> they, they're probably using the same frame for dingleberries. And here we've got uh, barrel chested. Last year it was something, something about balls hanging in your face. 
Teabagged? It was teabagged last year? Yeah. Who, who's not doing it? And then your hands are gripping it sideways? Yeah, my hands I grip it like this, just so I can slide over. Otherwise it tears the shit out of your fingers. Yeah. So James, damn it, my hair did touch. Yeah. yeah. Two miles in. This is a melting point up here. Just like the teeter tuber or tipping point.
crew's still getting over here. There is a rope on the inside that helps you pull yourself up it. I went on my knees and the rope got underneath me. Whoa! And when I tipped down the other side, the rope went around my neck. Oh shoot, dude. And I got caught caught in there. So don't let the rope get underneath you. There's a rope? Yeah. Just don't let it get underneath you and you'll be all right. Huh? I mean, I didn't die or anything. I just like got stuck and I was like, ah, I'm on the rope. They didn't like wrap around. Yes, I hear what you're saying. I, I got stuck on the rope. I'll put it that way. that coming through? Oh, there we go. Okay, people are Yes, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Not not to be dramatic about it, but it, it definitely will catch you. So just be careful. Keep the rope on the side of you. Or if you... Yeah, yeah ice on the side. So just be careful on the rope. Yeah. Oh, there's a bolt right there? Oh. Well, it's, so the, there is a bolt, but it's a, it's, a, it's a round head on it. Not around your neck. No, it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't know. Come on, you can do it. Go. Here I come. Oh, what? Yeah. I shot out so quick. What did you do? Did you hold yourself there? Huh? Did you hold yourself there? Yeah. Okay. Nice shot. Nice okay, shot. that's scarier than. And the water's pretty well, you chilly. Guys it up. Yeah, it was cold. So you held just. I just. I went. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You can control yourself with your own pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can pull it both directions. Yeah. So I can see you stop yourself from going forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was uh. Just don't let it get underneath you. That's all. Good luck to us too, Mike. Yeah, yeah, that water is not warm. I don't know where they pulled it from. They probably pulled it from the lake, I don't know. Yeah, during the hot part of the day. 
back. Have I told you about well, my ice I'm plunges? Sure they're going to put ice in it. Oh, yeah, on the back side is what they're have saying. I, have I told you about my cold plunges I've been doing? Appreciate how sensitive you are, Will. Almost 3.5. So this is a pretty good hill here, coming down it. back tonight and put markers where we show the obstacles. I think that'll be handy on the YouTube video. So far, there's not been obstacles. We've had Dublin walls, which you got to climb for. It's not really grip so much as just strength. And parts of the course. But I imagine. Everybody's going to go around the mud because there's no line here. But you do get into a spot over here that is quite muddy. So it's easy to stay up out of the mud right here. But you do have to cross this little creek, little stream at some point. So we did lose cell signal back there. This trench war trench press. Pit at the end of it. So I don't know if they'll put ice in there or what, but. That's pretty cool. 
cool though. Normally trench warfare you, you, know, you go through the water, the trench, and then you get out and that's it. This is cool. Big, big water pit at the end. Yeah, no tubes. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there, there could be tubes. Might not. Might just be coming right out. Maybe tubes, maybe maybe a little bit of trench into Shawshank, possibly. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that's why I saw the net like crumpled up, and I thought that's what it was gonna be for to go over the water, which would have been pretty exciting, but also not safe. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking if they put tubes there, then it would be Shawshank ish. Yeah. But we'll see. Do you remember the first Tough Mudder obstacle you guys ever did? First, first one. Yeah. First Tough Mudder, first obstacle. What was it? Uh, no. It was top of the hill, the start line, and the bottom of the hill. So you had to go straight up the hill. So you know, the, uh, the lake where I've been in the post now, they don't go back anymore. Top of the hill, the walls. And this was back when it was just, there's no shelf, right? It was just, um... It was like four, two wide or three wide. So I finally, like, do a turn and someone helps me up. I get to the top of the wall. And I see, oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> and I just, anyway, so there's a whole big crowd. Ah, fun. cage crawl. My first obstacle was uh, balls to the wall. Okay. Like the super tall one with the rope. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And like, this is a good I, I put, I think I told you, I put off doing a Tough Mudder for years. Yeah. Because I didn't like that they shock people. They cage crawl is looking quite deep. Cage crawl? Yeah. <laughs> like what? What kind of craziness are they going to do here? That water looks beautiful. Yeah. Very deep for, for a cage crawl. Oh, we lost them. So we, we just have no idea what's going to happen there. That's all right, they're chatting. Like is the... Fencing gonna be down lower, or is it gonna be tarp over the top where it's dark? This one's not steep, but you get to the end. Those are the mop heads? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they got the mop heads. Each crawl used to be the one that stressed me out the most mentally. Like it'd be weird if you can just like crouch yeah, through the whole thing. The very first version of it. You, you scared me with hydrophobia. Wait, which one's hydrophobia? Hydrophobia is the one that Oh, I know exactly yes. what you're talking about. The tube. Also, Yeah, just a plastic culvert. A culvert being a big tube that they put underneath driveways and stuff. I so the that now. Okay. I'm not familiar with it before. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, we have a lot of culvert obstacles and like culvert, culvert. Like inside my head, like. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a pad that goes down. Oh fuck! Um, you don't have a chance. <laughs> No, you're not wrong. Yeah, if you go in there and... There's a girl. I thought so, too. I was so shocked. I'm like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to flirt with anybody. <laughs> I don't know how to flirt. Wait, what? You said you don't have a chance after I said I complimented her shirt. Because I, said, I was talking about... <laughs> <laughs> so, hence the confusion. But yeah, yeah, if that goes on, you're a doomed man. It was so confused. <laughs> Yeah, there's, the course does loop back around over there. I'm going to miss Coach's, Coach's Corner. So the water and the obstacles is definitely not 
like water that's been sitting there. It's water they got from a pond or from the lake here in Granbury. This is chilly. It's not Atlanta cold. You were almost at four miles. We come up to Coach's Corner. I don't know where you get in, but you can see that this is where Coach is going to be set up playing. I'm thinking you might crawl underneath to get in, which would be cool. I'm thinking you crawl underneath to get in, but I don't know for sure. Go ask Coach, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. There. Coach! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those guys, immortals, like, they're getting, like, some coconut stuff to make, like, for the daytime, like, cool coconut iced coffees and stuff like that. It's like, it's like a goddamn barista up here. I love, it. <laughs> I love it. Coach, anything like you'd like to say about your obstacle? We're doing the live stream for the course preview. Uh, it's going to be awesome up here. Nobody knows what's inside. It's an absolute mystery. But uh, it's going to be a great place to recharge and get elevated. Uh, Immortal's going to be out here serving up hot and cold coffee. Nice. Uh, so it's like a spot for you guys to come out and recharge and get booted up and, and head back on course. Awesome. So we got you covered out here at Coach's Corner. Do Love you know there. how you get in? Do you crawl underneath to get in, under the stage? You know, all those things are just going to have to be found out. <laughs> Apologize. You won't I, know? I'm still struggling to figure out how to get in. <laughs> but I, we got all these guys. They got to figure out they're setting it up right now. Nice. So. Awesome. It's going to be pretty awesome. Well, We're thank excited. you, buddy. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Looking forward to partying with the coach. Yeah, great to see you. Oh, Thanks for being out here. If you don't ask, you definitely won't know, so you got to try. He's uh, keeping it close to the bus. Yep. <laughs> nice little steep hill to get down. up the funky monkey spunky monkey hey if y'all do decide to go out on course right. um, I'll stay in the booth and work cameras sure. because we can keep y'all's audio live while I still switch to other stuff like while y'all are just walking sure. to something We yeah. Have to, we have to think about that tonight because. Because if I didn't, if I stayed out, it would, what would be the point? Because it's not like that camera would show. Right. If we go out and lose some of the uh, live aspect of the race results. Right? Well, if yeah, but if I'm there, switching cameras and pulling up results, y'all won't be talking about it, but I can still show stuff. Sure. Maybe we get like a golf cart or something. To get out quickly. Yeah. Good. Instead of doing like a two hour lap. Yeah. So we've got, I would thought it was going to be all hanging ropes. But this is a traverse. Yeah. Which actually I think is going to be pretty damn easy. There you go. Yeah. Like, I don't think people are going to have an excuse to. Starting spot. You start on the right or the left? This was the start.
start. Part way. Well, you start over here on the road. Okay. Did you already do it? Because the swinging wheels, you know, get a lot of people. Yeah. You don't have that unless they're gonna switch them out because they could. They're there. The wheels are there. Oh, there's Francesca. I might have to do it again. All right. You need me to do it again? So. I know they say you go different directions. I think you start starting on this side. Is it? Yeah. There you go, Mike. Too much. Too many people. There. What am I doing? Gotta save it here. Huh? Yeah. You wanna do it? Me? No. Not particularly. I'm very proud of what I did earlier. I was gonna say that. <laughs> huh. Nice job, James. That's that way. Nice work. So it goes both ways. This is the one that's gonna switch halfway through yeah. the night. Yeah, everybody complained about the the bananas. The bananas were very grippy, and you had tires to stand on on the way up. <laughs> but going down with the muddy hands, you know, the monkey bars are very, they're pretty thick. And uh, so, yeah, I can see why people fell off of that part, but the way up was easy. I don't know why people had such a problem with it. Well, also, again, but even a lot of pros were skipping it. But again, it's, exactly, it's the path of least resistance. Yeah, we haven't seen any penalty obstacles. We've just seen, yeah, loops. So we're going over to a, a loop, but there is a 
loop this way. See if something was a little iffy through here, maybe. through here. Feet. Feet on both sides. Feet on the sides. Not in front of me because if not, you're going to end up like this and land with your feet up in the air like this. See how she's putting her feet on yeah. the side? Yeah. She's staying center. I see that. If you put your feet straight in front, you're going to end up swinging back. Put your feet in front of you and see That's what I'm good. talking about, my little lady. Put your feet in front of you. Can you start? See, you have to put them in front of you. See the difference? You're starting to lean back. See the difference? Okay, put your foot back. Sure. Hi. Hey, I'm Turtle. I'm enjoy. I'm, I'm being the scooter for this. Is it legal to lift it up? Yes. Yes. Usually in the race, you'll probably have to go under it, but you can put it under. Do you know how to climb this as a spider? Okay. Go to the side. Do not go in front. There you go. Keep two rows in front of you. There you go, that's how you do it. Yeah, you can do the swing action. Most everybody wants to put their feet on the front. Hi guys, you know how to climb this as a spider, not as a ladder? See at the top, you see how you're still centered right there? You see how you're still centered right there in the middle of the hole? You won't be leaning straight back. You're st stand straight up and down when the uh, water is pouring on you. Okay, look, you guys know how to climb it as a spider. What do you mean climb it as a spider? Just what? listen to how she explains it. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, look at me, guys. Look at me. When you're climbing, you're going to climb side to side. You're going to keep two rows in front of you. Most people want to climb the ladder like this in front of them. You're going to end up doing this. Spider, as opposed to like a ladder. Yeah, cell signals. Cell signal seems iffy here. Yeah, if the audio is making it through, I'm saying climb like a spider. 
not like a ladder, because if you climb like a spider, if you climb like a ladder, you're going to lean backwards. You know, your feet are going to go in front of you, you're going to lean backwards, and the water's going to go right in your face. The way she said it, it worked. Yeah, I think it worked. Yes. You just get this like swinging action going back and forth. I switched halfway to climbing like a ladder. Yeah. Far easier. Well, <laughs> her, her, you know, what she's saying is that when you do that and you do start going forward, that water's going to go straight in your face. Oh, is the water pouring down? Because if you're leaning back, because yeah, there's a, a hose on top that's going straight down, spraying think, on you. I think the counteraction to that is to just close your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Not, not the spider. You think it's a tight enough cargo that ladder might still work anyway? All I know is I switched halfway through and I was happy I did. Yeah. Yeah. to you. Yeah. I told you not to climb like that. I like the spider. I think I feel like she is doing her best. She's she's giving everybody. she's giving a good tip. Advice. It's a good, good way to give it a try. Well, I'm not, I, if I were to do it again, I'd do it the ladder. Will says he would do the ladder route. But if you like the spider, so. Spider works for me. There's no wrong answer, except for spider. Find, <laughs> find the one that works for you. A little bit of money, a little bit of water. Here we are. Four and a half. Hanging rough coming up as well. So I'd expect some dog toys hanging from that. Something seems to be happening underneath Butterhorn. Can't quite tell. Don't see a big slide. Some more water crossing. It's going to be very muddy here. There's an obstacle coming up, but mud shouldn't bother you too much other than the fact that there are feet platform, you know, platforms that you can swing on. 
So, depending on how muddy this gets, you see a lot of there, but the hand grips, not really a problem, I think, to have. Like, at this point, I don't think you're gonna have wet hands. Shoot, you just came out of Augustus Blue. toys. Just rings, bar, and bananas in the one platform. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think they're far enough apart, you know, unless they didn't want to try and skip. You can go ahead and just go ring, ring, bar. Yeah, I figured I was going to do that every time. Ring, ring, bar. Yep. And then get onto the platform. And then the ring, there's two bananas. <laughs> and it's not, he could probably skip the last one. I'm thinking he skipped the last one. Yeah. There you go. Can you take this, Dustin? Oh, absolutely. Or Will? Or All right. This may actually be better for you because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Whenever I hold it, I have to turn it the wrong way and then can't get it. Oh, you had that. Probably. Come on. Right, Jason, show us a. Can you skip that last banana? You missed the bell. So where do you need to think about it? Left hand. Right banana. Can you skip the first banana? And go straight to the second? You got it, you got it. saving your strength. Right. Because as you saw, I got like a grip adjustment after I grabbed it. Yeah. Because it takes a lot of one hand long arm swing from that. Yeah. You can, but we're also coming out, everybody's coming out of Augustus Loop right before this. No way. Man, keep your momentum. Yeah, you got it. That's what you gotta do. You gotta just swing, jump, and grab. This would be a good one to put a camera on. Take 
go, look, where's the panel? This is what we need. Jason is very proud of swing one hand. Instead of trying to grab it high, because if you get low, you get that friction from the yeah. bottom banana. I just don't have any practice in that grip. Yeah, yeah, vertical grips are tough. The bananas are, I like the bananas at least that they're, they have a rough texture on them. This is the year of the banana. The year, of, I think that was a couple years ago. I don't know. Yeah, tell Spark, tell Self Mutter that. What are you actually talking about? Oh. So good obstacles for cameras. That one. Um, oh, oh, operation. Yeah. Thirty four to go out on course. Uh. Hot take again. I think we should only keep it for coach's the coach's corner. That'd be cool. That rate for the inside of coach's corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd love it. Just go. Oh, yeah, yes. Tutter horn. Down at if you, everybody coming up. Jason. Yes. I'm changing it. What? I told you it's a good idea to keep it to start it off on there. When people start failing, start failing it. You talking about on that? Oh yeah, well, they can definitely move around for yes, sure. Yeah, but it's that's a good, good place call. to start. That's a good call, Mike. You're right. Like three in the morning, that's good stuff. As someone who wants, everyone's just twenty-five minutes. Yeah. Funky monkey operation there. Maybe we can move it from there to Everest. Yeah. Oh, where's Everest? Where's right Everest? Over here. I like Everest. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, <sighs> Excuse me. I don't. Yeah, it is. We are hearing this. We could put a poll out, say what, uh, which obstacles, or just a question. Hey, let's put that out as a uh, question on uh, a, a story. Uh, what what obstacle would you like to see a, a camera at? Choose your own adventure. Yeah, just get an idea of what what the audience is looking for. Yeah. What is going on at the top there? You see towards the top they got something white. It looks like it's... I don't know. I mean it could just be covering up the net. But I'm not sure. Got a good little hill to get up to the Mutterhorn. We missed the turn. Yeah, because I did this yesterday, and 
I saw it, but I didn't see it just now. Watch out for the cactus. Yeah, there's a couple dudes running that way. I was just following them. Now we did a little extra at the beginning because of that penalty loop for Twinkle Toes or whatever. The one before Twinkle Toes. Oh wow! Somebody must have came down the road just now. But it is definitely is blowing, blowing around. All right, here's another horn. Nice and tall as usual. That's just the extra netting. going on underneath it this year. Second to last obstacle. Head down the hill, do Everest, and then, you, then you're done. Nice little hill to get down here. Getting some speed. Looks like they've got the little level up lane. Step on a frog. first because I want to see what that lip looks like. Because honestly, I think grabbing on to that is easier than having a
car. <laughs> I felt good until I did. Where do you want her, Jason? Grab his ankle. How do you center it? probably last two laps.
your arms and walk yourself up. And then throw that ankle over us when you can. Four times, it's a hundred miles. Still got another, let's say, a couple hundred yards, 300 yards maybe before the finish. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely over five. Oh, did we get the? You got it. Awesome. Y'all saying y'all want to cut in or finish in the course? And as uh, Statue of Liberty is going to be over there somewhere. I don't know how they're going to get people to it, like where you're going to go to get to it, but it's going to be over that crossing, water crossing over there. It almost seems like it goes down from uh, Coach's Corner and then goes back up to Funky Monkey. I, I don't really know. I can't remember from the map if it bypasses any obstacles because you're adding an obstacle. Here's the finish. so fast if you watch thanks for watching and I hope we gave you some good tips and we'll see you guys tomorrow say bye, bye. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> I have to go turn it off at my computer so I'm not actually done yet They're giving the race briefing now.